Tip number 286 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. Uh, this is the chapter on building plans and this tip is building the project in your head. Now, it's the contractors I worked with who are really good at estimating and, and building would actually build the project in their head. I did it plenty of times. It's actually how I, I found a lot of errors. In my mind, I could picture how everything was assembled by looking at a set of uh, the floor plans um, or the elevations or the sections. And I could actually see where the architect or the engineer might have made a mistake um, in their drawing and uh, actually pointed this out. You know, I would turn in a set of plans and provide, I didn't do it all the time, but uh, I would provide them with a list of errors or things that they need to consider. And uh, this is one of the big advantages to being able to build this or assemble the project in your head. You look at the floor plan and you look at the elevations, the sections, and you can say, okay, I got it. I've got a pretty good idea. I built uh, 20 homes, you know, and I'm getting a pretty good idea how this home also is going to be assembled. And uh, it's just a, a great way to find problems. And the more problems you can find on a set of plans and not provide um, your competition with, uh, a lot of times the better, the more effective you're going to be able to estimate projects you see a problem, maybe it's a beam size that's uh, too small, compensate for it in your, in your estimate. And then if you get the job, say, hey, I noticed this beam size is a little small. I already calculated for it. Here's what I estimate uh, the beam that we need. Um, get your engineer to calc it out. The engineer calcs it out, sees that you're close. You got to already have a figure in there for the beam. Um, let's say it's $300 and you figured $400, uh, simply shave $100 off the plan. These are good faith things that uh, everybody likes, you know. Um, and and I, can't, I can't say, I can't tell you how many times I made a note on a set of plans from something I could visually see that the architect, the engineer, and some of the other contractors couldn't. And then when I got the job, I would point this out to them and it would be resolved before we started the job, not during the job. And uh, made a big difference on the projects that went in a timely manner. I've seen projects set for weeks because of an error that uh, somebody didn't catch. They just uh, bid the job, assembled it accordingly, and that was the end of it. Inspector comes along and says, well, wait a minute, you can't have this girder truss sitting on a 4x4. You know, it needs a, a bigger beam in there. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but some of the problems I ran into were the same problems that made it easy for me to, um, I knew right where to look, knew where the engineers or the architects might have made a problem too. But the more you understand about building codes, the better you get at your profession, at your particular trade, the more that you hone your skills in, the easier this process gets. And when someone comes up to you and says, hey, I've got a contract or an estimate here for $25,000 and you're at $29,000 and you can explain to them why there's a good chance you're going to get the job and they're not because they're not able to explain. Um, all they're able to do is say, hey, this is what I bid the project at and that's it. So this could be a good thing or a bad thing if you're a contractor that loves to uh, uh, pull out the change order and get extra money on it. Obviously, building it in your head might not be the best solution, but uh, for those of you who are looking to build a reputation as a quality-oriented, honest contractor, um, building things in your head is, is a must-do. You've got to be able to do it, and it might take a few years, might take a few decades, but work on it until you have perfected it, and your job will become easier as a builder and a assembler.